And Mayor Eric Adams facing tough questions on what he's doing to fix the migrant situation as there's been another clash between migrants and NYPD officers. Good day, New York's Lizette Nunez is live outside the Roosevelt Hotel with the latest. Lizette. Good morning, Kurt and Rosanna. Well, the mayor says that past administrations have placed limits on how the city can interact with ICE, but given these recent violent attacks against police officers, well, the mayor wants to do more about this and also make sure that those individuals are taken off New York City streets. Go ahead and take a look at this video. This was posted on TikTok. It shows migrants throwing items at police officers inside the Randall's Island tent shelter. Investigators say last week, there was an argument between a migrant and security guard. Officers attempted to remove the migrant, and that's when officers were thrown, excuse me, objects were thrown at officers. Yesterday on Fox 5, the mayor was also asked questions about the controversial prepaid debit card plan for 500 migrant families. The city issued a $53 million no bid contract to a firm to help administer this pilot program. The mayor says migrants will be given $13 a day for food and baby products. It's supposed to go to only food and baby supplies. If it's abused, we will take those cards away. So the mayor was also asked how the city plan on keeping tabs on migrants to ensure that the money doesn't go to other things besides food and baby products. The mayor didn't have a clear answer on that, but he says if this program is successful, then they plan on expanding it to even more migrant families. That's the latest here in Midtown. Curtin and Rosanna will send things back inside. And we'll be keeping an eye on that because many New Yorkers very uh, concerned about this.